I want to talk about a subject that I've been kind of wanting to discuss, but have laid back from getting involved in the conversation. And that is, is Last Epoch dead? I have a question for you. Why are you not subscribed to my channel? A lot of you continue to watch all my content, but yet do not subscribe. So I'd like to ask the question, why are you not a subscriber? Am I that ugly? So if you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. It would get my content out to more eyes and ears. And at the end of the day, it's one of the reasons why I created this channel was to get my message to as many people as possible. So if you could hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. This is going back several months. As everyone should know, Last Epoch was launched 1.0, sorry, on February 21st. And only a month into the release of 1.0, these questions started to arise. And that was simply because of the drop off as shown here of the player base. So as you can see here, 1.0 released on February 21st with a tremendous dash of people rushing the game, which caused a lot of issues with the server and logging into games and loading screens. We're not gonna get into that. We did a video on that already a long time ago but over 152,000 players rushed the game at launch on February 21st. And not even, let's go here to March 21st, which is li literally a month after 1.0, you can see this huge decline to where it is today. So naturally, I don't have a problem when people started asking, is Last Epoch dead? Naturally, that's something you would ask with that huge drop off. Now, the other thing is, this is even with a positive review on SteamDB. They have a 76% approval rating, yet the question was still being asked. So I wanted to bring back this topic since, as you can see here, we are less just literally a day and two hours away from the new cycle in Last Epoch 1.1, The Harbingers of Ruin. And I wanted to finally address this question about is Last Epoch dead? Now, I was getting inundated with people coming on to my comment section and into my live streams, throwing this at me since I was a big fan of 1.0. And to be honest with you, I'm still a big fan of the game. I think this game, Last Epoch that is, is going to do uh, wonders to the ARPG genre. However, I do now want to discuss what's happening with Last Epoch. And I also want to address what I feel is going to be kind of the lay of the land for 11th hour games for the first year, year and a half of the development of Last Epoch. Now, I understand prior to 1.0, Last Epoch was in early access or whatever you want to call it for about five or six years. So this is not a very new game. It's been in development for five, six years now. So don't get me wrong. However, I'm talking about 1.0 and onwards. And as you can see here, they've already released their roadmap, their content roadmap for 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4, which literally takes us into the next year of content for Last Epoch. So the roadmap, the road is already, has been already established on what they want to deliver over the next 12 months plus. So we are aware that they have a roadmap already, which leads me to my take on the question, is Last Epoch dead? And the answer to that is emphatically no. Last Epoch is not dead. Anyone that has played this game knows how good this game is. It checks a lot of the ARPG boxes. 
it has itemization crafting the combat system is good the quality of life features in this game are unbelievable the class diversity and the amount of builds that are possible in this game is just crazy there's five classes each class has three masteries which just opens up the floodgates to the amount of builds that are possible in this game and most of them like 95 percent of them are playable enjoyable fun and can complete all the content in the game now if there was one thing lacking in this game when 1.0 released back in february and it it is probably the major contributor on why we saw that huge drop off of the player base only a month into the game and that is the end game the end game the monolith system the that content lacked in substance and depth and doing it over and over and over it just pushed players outside of the game and 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 they just left now it did take five months in between 1.0 and 1.1 so that is a little longer and i suspect for the first two or three cycles of 11th hour games drops i suspect they are going to take more than the normal amount of time with it you know typically every three months if you follow path of exile in their leagues it's typically three four months same thing with diablo 4 in their seasons it's three months in between each new season so i would imagine being a live service game that last epoch is going to be want to follow the same and they are but this one took five months and i suspect 1.2 1.3 is not going to be clean cut three months every three months because i think they're getting their ducks in a row so that's going to present a little bit a little bit of an issue because if they don't hit the mark on that cycle with the content people leave and if you're taking longer to introduce new content then they're gone for a longer amount of times if you know what i mean so that's the one little thing that i see that is going to present a little bit of an issue but outside of that, they are already addressing the biggest issue that was in this game, and that's the end game. So in 1.1, in the Harbingers of Ruin, we have Pinnacle Boss, we have a Nemesis Encounter, huge class updates um, and balancing of classes, which was which was big, and they they fixed a lot of bugs. So is Last Epoch dead? Hell, no. The thing is that there is going to be this up and down, up and down, which is typical with all ARPGs, and it's evident in Diablo 4. It's the same in Path of Exile, etc., etc. People play when they're done they leave they come back when the new content drops and this is what happened with last epoch with cycle 1.0 people played it they had a blast and when there was nothing left to do they left um so this is natural and the only reason why things were coming up this is a small studio this is not a triple a studio so uh of course naturally people are going to start asking is last epoch dead but this game is not dead this game is not going anywhere this is a small studio 11th hour games is a small studio okay kickstarter and this is just going to take time to brew and hit its right this is not a triple a studio with 10,000 people and teams for every nook and cranny of the design process. They don't have that amount of resources, okay? So things are gonna take time. That is the only thing that's gonna hold back Last Epoch. This game is here to stay. This game is gonna do a lot. Of, this game has done already checks boxes that AAA Studio ARPGs have still yet to put in their game and i'm not gonna mention it you already know who i'm talking about okay item filters loot filters quality of life features that are like simply done in this game which seems like unbelievably hard to accomplish in another game uh, and they have all their excuses on why they can't do it and in this game, it's just naturally in the game. And actually, they're building further. That is the reason why, the number one reason why LE will not die 
is because 11th hour games, the development developers of this game, they don't do only what they want to do. They involve their community and their player base in the decision making of how the game is managed and implemented. And for that reason alone, I would argue to you and present to you that Last Epoch is not going to die. Now, no one can guarantee anything. Anything can happen. But I got my money on 11th Hour Games. They're, a, they're good devs. They're a good studio. They care about their game. And they care about what the player base thinks about their game. And it's that kind of recipe and formula that is a recipe for success. So... Uh, last epoch is not going to die and it's not dead it's just going to go through these ups and downs for the first three or four cycles until it hits its stride and that's basically what i wanted to say and i also wanted to say one more day two hours and 36 minutes until the launch of harbingers of ruin did you get your copy of last epoch if you're not go on to steam and purchase your copy today you will not regret it. This is a great game, guys. If you like ARPGs, itemization, quality of life, fun, they've added more end game content with the drop of Harbingers of Ruin. And it's only going to get more and more and more content as I elaborated with their uh, content roadmap. So go check it out and uh, see if you like the game, what you're seeing, and uh, purchase it. And I will be streaming Harbingers of Ruin uh, starting on July 9th when it drops. Come and join me on my stream that evening. It's going to be around 7, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, PM, that is. Uh, channel name is Sammy Caps on Twitch. Come and say hello. We're going to we're gonna grind the crap out of this game. I'm looking forward. There's so many builds that I want to try. It's not even funny. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the Terror on July 9th. Thanks for watching. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.